Have you ever wondered what your life would look like if you stopped caring so much about what others think? Imagine waking up each day without the weight of other people's opinions, without the fear of judgment, and without the constant pressure to prove yourself to everyone around you. What if you could live boldly, freely, and with a sense of calm that nothing could shake? For many of us, life feels like a series of expectations, expectations from society, from family, from friends, and even from ourselves. We're told to speak up, to stand out, to make our mark. And while there's nothing wrong with striving for success, there's a danger in letting these expectations control our lives. We become trapped in a cycle of seeking validation, constantly worrying about how we're perceived and fearing what might happen if we don't live up to these standards. But what if I told you there's a different way to live? A way that's not about conforming to others' expectations, but about finding peace and power within yourself. A way that allows you to act with confidence, even when the world is watching, and to face uncertainty without fear. This isn't some unattainable ideal or a fantasy. It's a mindset rooted in ancient wisdom that has guided people through life's toughest challenges for centuries. Now picture this. You're in a situation where you're being criticized, where others are questioning your decisions, or where you feel the pressure to defend yourself. Your instinct might be to argue, to explain, or to prove your point. But instead, you take a deep breath, remain calm, and choose not to react. You don't feel the need to justify yourself or to fight back. Instead, you hold your ground with quiet confidence, knowing that your worth isn't determined by others' opinions. In this moment, you're not just avoiding conflict. You're embracing a strength that comes from within, a strength that doesn't need to be loud to be powerful. This quiet strength is something that we all have the capacity to develop, but it requires a shift in how we see ourselves and the world around us. It's about letting go of the need to always be right, to always be heard, and to always be in control. It's about understanding that true power comes from within and that it's not dependent on external validation. Living without the fear of failure brings a powerful sense of freedom. Too often, we hesitate, paralyzed by the fear of what might happen if things don't go as planned, missing out on the life we could be living. We're afraid of making mistakes, of looking foolish, or of losing what we've worked so hard to gain. But what if you could approach every situation with the mindset that you have nothing to lose? What if you could take risks, pursue your dreams, and stand up for what you believe in without being paralyzed by the fear of failure? Living with this mindset doesn't mean being reckless or careless. It means recognizing that most of the things we fear aren't as catastrophic as we imagine them to be. It means understanding that setbacks are a natural part of life and that they don't define us. When you stop fearing failure, you open yourself up to new possibilities, new opportunities, and a new sense of freedom. You begin to realize that the only thing you truly have to lose is the chance to live fully and authentically. There's a profound power in acting as if you have nothing to lose. It allows you to move through life with a sense of purpose and determination without being weighed down by the opinions of others or the fear of failure. It gives you the courage to take bold steps, to speak your truth, and to pursue your passions with unwavering resolve. But how do you cultivate this mindset in a world that constantly tells you to play it safe, to conform, and to seek approval? It starts with a shift in perspective, a shift that begins by recognizing that your value isn't determined by what others think of you, by your achievements, or by your possessions. Your value comes from who you are, from your character, and from your ability to stay true to yourself, no matter what challenges you face. When you stop chasing after approval, you begin to find peace within yourself. You start to see that you don't need to shout to be heard, that you don't need to prove yourself to be worthy, 
and that you don't need to cling to things that don't truly matter. You realize that the most important things in life, your integrity, your peace of mind, your relationships, aren't dependent on external validation. They come from within. Living with this mindset also means embracing the idea that life is uncertain, and that's okay. We spend so much time trying to control every aspect of our lives, but the truth is, there's only so much we can control. We can't predict the future, and we can't always prevent things from going wrong, but we can choose how we respond to the challenges we face. We can choose to face them with courage, with resilience, and with the understanding that no matter what happens, we'll be okay. This doesn't mean that life will always be easy or that you won't face difficulties, but it does mean that you'll be better equipped to handle whatever comes your way. You'll be able to stay calm in the face of adversity, to navigate life's ups and downs with grace, and to keep moving forward even when the path isn't clear. In a world that often feels chaotic and overwhelming, this mindset is a source of stability and strength. It allows you to stay grounded, to stay true to yourself, and to live with a sense of purpose that isn't shaken by external circumstances. It's about finding power in your quiet moments, in your ability to listen, to observe, and to act with intention rather than impulse. As you begin this journey, remember that it's not about becoming someone else or living up to someone else's standards. It's about uncovering the strength that's already within you, the strength that allows you to live boldly, freely, and with a sense of calm that nothing can shake. It's about learning to act with confidence, even in the face of uncertainty, and to find peace in knowing that you have nothing to lose by being true to yourself. So, as you take the first steps towards embracing this mindset, ask yourself, what would your life look like if you stopped caring so much about what others think? What could you achieve if you stopped fearing failure and started living as if you have nothing to lose? The answers to these questions could change everything. A world unfolds where you're not compelled to speak, where silence is not only embraced but revered, offering a deep sense of peace and power in simply being. What if I told you that the power to transform your life lies not in what you say, but in what you choose not to say? In a society that prizes loudness and quick reactions, there exists an ancient wisdom that teaches the opposite. The quieter you become, the more you can hear, and the more power you hold. This isn't just about saying less, it's about listening more deeply, about observing the world with a clarity that only silence can provide. The Stoics knew this well, and their teachings on silence can offer us a profound shift in how we approach our daily lives. Silence is often misunderstood as emptiness, as a lack of contribution. But in truth, silence is full of potential. It's a space where thoughts can settle, where clarity can emerge, and where true understanding can take root. The act of holding back words, of not rushing to fill every void with noise, is a practice in discipline and wisdom. It's about recognizing that not every situation requires a response, and that sometimes the most powerful thing you can do is to say nothing at all. This kind of silence isn't passive. It's an active choice, a deliberate decision to listen, to observe, and to understand before reacting. When you choose silence, you give yourself the space to fully process what's happening around you. You can see things more clearly, understand others more deeply, and respond in ways that are more thoughtful and effective. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, the ability to remain composed and centered, even in the face of chaos or conflict. Consider how often we feel the urge to respond immediately, especially when we're challenged or criticized. Our instinct is to defend ourselves, to prove a point, to make sure our voice is heard. But this immediate reaction often clouds our judgment. It pushes us to speak before we've truly understood the situation, leading to misunderstandings or escalating conflicts. The Stoics teach us that by holding our tongue, by embracing silence, we can avoid these pitfalls. 
we can maintain our inner peace and we can act in ways that are aligned with our true values rather than our fleeting emotions. In moments of silence, we are better able to listen, not just to others, but to ourselves. We can hear our own thoughts more clearly, understand our true motivations and discern what is really important. This kind of deep listening is a powerful tool for personal growth. It allows us to move beyond superficial reactions and to engage with the world in a way that is thoughtful and intentional. Silence also has a way of commanding respect. When you speak less, your words carry more weight. People begin to listen more carefully when you do choose to speak because they know that your words are considered and meaningful. This is a kind of quiet power that doesn't need to shout to be heard. It's a power that comes from self-control, from the ability to choose your words wisely, and from the understanding that not every thought needs to be voiced. In our daily lives, we can practice this by pausing before we speak. The next time you feel the urgi to respond immediately, take a moment to breathe. Consider whether your words are necessary, whether they will add value to the conversation, or whether silence might be the better option. This simple practice can transform your interactions, helping you to communicate more effectively and to avoid unnecessary conflicts. Moreover, silence allows us to connect more deeply with others. When we listen without the need to immediately respond, we show that we value the other person's perspective. We create space for them to express themselves fully, without interruption or judgment. This kind of listening builds trust and deepens relationships. It shows that we are not just waiting for our turn to speak, but that we are truly interested in understanding what the other person has to say. This approach can be especially powerful in moments of conflict. When tensions are high, our instinct is often to defend ourselves, to justify our actions, or to point out where the other person is wrong. But these reactions usually escalate the situation. By choosing silence, by listening instead of reacting, we can de-escalate conflicts and find more constructive ways to resolve them. We can understand the other person's concerns, and we can respond in ways that are calm and measured rather than reactive. Silence also gives us the opportunity to reflect on our own emotions. When we hold back from speaking, we can observe our feelings more clearly. We can recognize when we are acting out of anger, fear or insecurity, and we can choose to respond in ways that are more aligned with our true values. This kind of self-awareness is at the heart of Stoic philosophy. It's about understanding that our emotions don't have to control us, that we have the power to choose how we respond to the world around us. In this way, silence becomes a tool for personal empowerment. It allows us to stay centered and grounded, even in difficult situations. It helps us to maintain our composure and to act with intention rather than impulse. And it gives us the space to listen, to observe and to understand before we speak. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, the ability to remain calm and composed, to speak only when necessary, and to listen deeply to the world around us. In practicing this kind of silence, we begin to see the world in a new way. We notice the subtleties that we might have missed if we were too focused on speaking. We see the nuances in other people's words and actions, and we gain a deeper understanding of the situations we find ourselves in. This kind of awareness is a powerful tool for navigating life's challenges. It allows us to see things more clearly, to make better decisions, and to act in ways that are thoughtful and intentional. Silence also teaches us patience. It reminds us that not everything needs to be resolved immediately, that sometimes the best course of action is to wait, to observe, and to let things unfold. This patience is a key aspect of Stoic wisdom. It's about recognizing that we don't have to rush to fix everything, that sometimes the best thing we can do is to remain calm and let things be. This doesn't mean being passive or indifferent. 
it means being thoughtful and deliberate in our actions. As we continue to explore the power of silence, we begin to see that it's not just about speaking less, it's about listening more. It's about creating space for reflection, for understanding, and for thoughtful action. This is a powerful shift in how we approach our daily lives. It's a way of living that is rooted in self-control, in wisdom, and in a deep respect for the power of words. In a world that often feels chaotic and overwhelming, this practice of silence offers a sense of calm and clarity. It allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and composure, to stay grounded in the face of adversity, and to act with intention rather than impulse. This is the true power of silence, the ability to listen, to understand, and to speak only when it truly matters. But silence is not just about holding back words, it's about creating space in your mind and your heart. When we silence the noise around us, the distractions, the unnecessary conversations, the constant chatter, we create room for deeper understanding and connection. This kind of silence is nourishing. It allows us to connect with ourselves, to hear our own inner voice, and to align our actions with our deepest values. The world around us is filled with noise, literal noise, but also the noise of opinions, expectations, and societal pressures. We are constantly bombarded with messages telling us who we should be, what we should do, and how we should live our lives. In the midst of all this noise, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. Silence gives us the opportunity to tune out this noise and to focus on what's most important. It helps us to reconnect with our true selves, to remember our values, and to act in ways that are true to who we are. When we embrace silence, we also become more mindful. We begin to notice the details that we might otherwise overlook, the subtle shifts in someone's tone of voice, the unspoken emotions behind their words, the quiet beauty of the world around us. This kind of mindfulness is a powerful tool for personal growth. It allows us to see the world with fresh eyes, to appreciate the small moments, and to live with greater awareness and presence. Silence also has a way of revealing the truth. When we are quiet, we can see things more clearly. We can recognize the motivations behind our actions, the fears that drive us, and the desires that shape our choices. This kind of self-awareness is essential for personal growth. It allows us to understand ourselves on a deeper level, to identify the areas where we need to grow, and to take action to become the person we want to be. But silence is not just about self-reflection, it's also about connection. When we listen more and speak less, we create space for deeper connections with others. We begin to understand their perspectives, to empathize with their experiences, and to build stronger, more meaningful relationships. This kind of connection is essential for a fulfilling life. It allows us to feel more connected to the people around us, to build a sense of community, and to find greater meaning and purpose in our interactions. In this way, silence becomes a tool for building stronger, more meaningful relationships. It allows us to connect with others on a deeper level, to understand their needs and desires, and to build trust and respect. This kind of connection is essential for a fulfilling life. It allows us to feel more connected to the people around us, to build a sense of community, and to find greater meaning and purpose in our interactions. But silence is not just about listening to others. It's also about listening to ourselves. When we take the time to be quiet, to tune out the noise of the world around us, we can hear our own inner voice more clearly. This inner voice is a powerful guide. It helps us to navigate life's challenges, to make decisions that are aligned with our values, and to live with greater purpose and intention. This kind of inner listening is essential for personal growth. It allows us to understand ourselves on a deeper level to recognize our strengths and weaknesses, 
and to take action to become the person we want to be. It helps us to identify the areas where we need to grow, to set goals that are meaningful and achievable, and to take steps towards living a more fulfilling life. Silence is also a powerful tool for self-discipline. When we choose to be silent, we are exercising self-control. We are choosing to hold back our words, to listen more than we speak, and to act with intention rather than impulse. This kind of self-discipline is essential for personal growth. It allows us to stay focused on our goals, to avoid distractions, and to take action that is aligned with our values. In this way, silence becomes a tool for building inner strength. It allows us to stay grounded in the face of adversity, to act with intention rather than impulse, and to maintain our composure in difficult situations. This kind of inner strength is essential for personal growth. It allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience, to stay true to our values, and to live with greater purpose and intention. But silence is not just about self-discipline, it's also about humility. When we choose to be silent, we are acknowledging that we don't have all the answers, that we don't need to be the center of attention, and that we can learn from others. This kind of humility is essential for personal growth. It allows us to stay open to new ideas, to learn from our mistakes, and to grow into the person we want to be. In this way, Silence becomes a tool for building humility. It allows us to stay grounded in the face of success, to acknowledge our limitations, and to learn from others. This kind of humility is essential for personal growth. It allows us to stay open to new ideas, to learn from our mistakes, and to grow into the person we want to be. Silence is also a powerful tool for self-compassion. When we choose to be silent, we are giving ourselves the space to be kind to ourselves, to forgive ourselves for our mistakes, and to take care of our own needs. This kind of self-compassion is essential for personal growth. It allows us to stay grounded in the face of adversity, to act with intention rather than impulse, and to maintain our composure in difficult situations. In this way, silence becomes a tool for building self-compassion, it allows us to stay grounded in the face of adversity, to act with intention rather than impulse, and to maintain our composure in difficult situations. This kind of self-compassion is essential for personal growth. It allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience, to stay true to our values, and to live with greater purpose and intention. But silence is not just about self-compassion. It's also about courage. When we choose to be silent, we are exercising the courage to face our fears, to stand up for what we believe in, and to take action that is aligned with our values. This kind of courage is essential for personal growth. It allows us to stay grounded in the face of adversity, to act with intention rather than impulse, and to maintain our composure in difficult situations. In this way, silence becomes a tool for building courage. It allows us to stay grounded in the face of adversity, to act with intention rather than impulse, and to maintain our composure in difficult situations. This kind of courage is essential for personal growth. It allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience, to stay true to our values, and to live with greater purpose and intention. Silence is also a powerful tool for self-respect. When we choose to be silent, we are honoring our own needs, setting boundaries, and taking care of ourselves. This kind of self-respect is essential for personal growth. It allows us to stay grounded in the face of adversity, to act with intention rather than impulse, and to maintain our composure in difficult situations. In this way, Silence becomes a tool for building self-respect. It allows us to stay grounded in the face of adversity, to act with intention rather than impulse, and to maintain our composure in difficult situations. This kind of self-respect is essential for personal growth. 
It allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience, to stay true to our values, and to live with greater purpose and intention. But silence is not just about self-respect, it's also about self-love. When we choose to be silent, we are giving ourselves the space to love ourselves, to forgive ourselves for our mistakes, and to take care of our own needs. This kind of self-love is essential for personal growth. It allows us to stay grounded in the face of adversity, to act with intention rather than impulse, and to maintain our composure in difficult situations. In this way, silence becomes a tool for building self-love. It allows us to stay grounded in the face of adversity, to act with intention rather than impulse, and to maintain our composure in difficult situations. This kind of self-love is essential for personal growth. It allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience, to stay true to our values, and to live with greater purpose and intention. Silence is not just about speaking less, it's about listening more, about creating space for reflection, for understanding, and for thoughtful action. This is a powerful shift in how we approach our daily lives. It's a way of living that is rooted in self-control, in wisdom, and in a deep respect for the power of words. In a world that often feels chaotic and overwhelming, this practice of silence offers a sense of calm and clarity. It allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and composure, to stay grounded in the face of adversity, and to act with intention rather than impulse. This is the true power of silence, the ability to listen, to understand, and to speak only when it truly matters. As we move forward from the powerful idea of silence and its role in helping us navigate life with clarity and composure, we now turn our attention to another crucial aspect of Stoic philosophy, the courage to act without fear. While silence allows us to listen more deeply and respond with greater wisdom, the ability to act decisively, even in the face of uncertainty, is what propels us forward. It's what allows us to live fully, embrace the unknown, and seize opportunities without being paralyzed by fear. Imagine what your life could be like if you weren't held back by doubts or anxieties, if you could move through the world with confidence, even when the path ahead isn't clear. This is the power of acting without fear, a lesson the Stoics mastered and one that we too can learn to embrace. At the heart of acting without fear is the understanding that life is inherently uncertain. The Stoics teach us that while we may not be able to control external events, we can control how we respond to them. This means accepting that uncertainty is a natural part of life and that trying to eliminate it completely is both impossible and counterproductive. Instead of fearing the unknown, the Stoics encourage us to face it with courage and resilience. This isn't about being reckless or taking unnecessary risks, but rather about approaching each situation with a calm and steady mind, knowing that no matter what happens, we have the inner strength to handle it. Fear often arises from our desire for certainty. We want to know what will happen next, to predict and control outcomes, to ensure that things go according to plan, but the Stoics remind us that this desire for certainty is a trap. It leads us to focus on things that are outside our control, causing anxiety and stress. By shifting our focus to what we can control, our thoughts, actions and attitudes, we can navigate uncertainty with greater confidence. This shift in perspective allows us to take risks, not because we are certain of success, but because we trust in our ability to adapt and respond to whatever comes our way. This is the essence of acting without fear. It's not about eliminating uncertainty, but about learning to live with it and even thrive in it. One of the most effective ways to overcome fear is by questioning the stories we tell ourselves. Fear is often rooted in our thoughts, in the worst case scenarios that we imagine, in the doubts that creep into our minds, in the what-ifs that hold us back. 
The Stoics teach us to examine these thoughts closely, to question their validity, and to challenge the assumptions that underlie them. When we do this, we often find that our fears are not as insurmountable as they seem. By bringing our fears into the light of reason, we can see them for what they really are, often exaggerated, sometimes irrational, but rarely insurmountable. In addition to challenging our fears, the Stoics also emphasize the importance of preparation. While we can't predict the future, we can prepare for it by cultivating resilience and mental strength. This means training our minds to remain calm in the face of uncertainty, to think clearly under pressure, and to maintain our composure even when things don't go as planned. This kind of preparation doesn't eliminate risk, but it does equip us to handle it more effectively. When we are prepared, we can face challenges with confidence, knowing that we have the skills and the mindset to overcome them. But perhaps one of the most liberating aspects of Stoic philosophy is its perspective on failure. The fear of failure is one of the biggest obstacles to taking risks, but the Stoics remind us that failure is not something to be feared, it's something to be embraced. Failure is a natural part of life, a teacher that shows us where we need to grow and how we can improve. By changing our perspective on failure, we can remove much of the fear that holds us back. Instead of seeing failure as a catastrophe, we can see it as an opportunity for learning and growth. This shift in mindset allows us to take risks more freely, knowing that even if we fail, we will emerge stronger and wiser. Another key Stoic lesson is the importance of letting go of the need for certainty. The Stoics teach us that certainty is an illusion, that the world is constantly changing and that nothing is ever guaranteed. By accepting this, we free ourselves from the anxiety that comes from trying to control the uncontrollable. Instead of demanding certainty, we learn to be comfortable with ambiguity, to trust in our ability to navigate the unknown and to find peace in the midst of uncertainty. This doesn't mean being passive or indifferent. It means being flexible, adaptable and open to whatever life brings our way. In a world obsessed with outcomes, the Stoics remind us to focus on the process instead. When we are too attached to a specific result, we can become paralyzed by the fear of failure. But when we focus on the process, on doing our best, on learning and growing, and on taking consistent action, we can act without fear because we are not dependent on a particular outcome. This mindset allows us to take risks with greater ease because we know that success is not defined by the result, but by the effort we put in and the lessons we learn along the way. This focus on the process helps us to stay motivated, to keep moving forward and to find fulfillment in the journey rather than in the destination. The Stoics also teach us to cultivate detachment from external validation. Our worth, they say, is not determined by what others think of us, but by our own actions and character. When we detach from the need for approval, we free ourselves from the fear of judgment and rejection. This detachment allows us to act with greater freedom and authenticity because we are no longer concerned with pleasing others or meeting their expectations. We are guided by our own values and principles, and we are willing to take risks, even if it means going against the crowd. This mindset helps us to live more boldly, to pursue our true passions, and to stay true to ourselves, even in the face of uncertainty. Another powerful Stoic principle is the concept of memento mori, remembering that we are mortal and that our time on earth is limited. This reminder is not meant to be morbid, but rather to inspire us to live fully and to take advantage of the opportunities that come our way. When we remember that our time is finite, we are more likely to take risks, to pursue our dreams, and to live with a sense of urgency and purpose. Memento Mori helps us to put our fears in perspective, to recognize that the things we worry about are often trivial in the grand scheme of things, 
and to focus on what truly matters. This perspective allows us to act with courage and clarity, knowing that we have nothing to lose and everything to gain by living fully. In addition to memento mori, the Stoics also teach us to embrace the concept of amor fati, loving one's fate. This means accepting whatever happens in life, whether it is good or bad, with a sense of gratitude and love. When we embrace amor fati, we are no longer afraid of what might happen, because we trust that whatever comes our way is for our growth and benefit. This mindset allows us to act without fear, because we are not attached to any particular outcome. We are open to whatever life brings, and we are willing to embrace it fully, knowing that it is all part of our journey. This perspective helps us to find peace and contentment in the midst of uncertainty, and to approach life with a sense of curiosity and wonder. One of the most important aspects of acting without fear is resilience. The ability to bounce back from adversity and to keep moving forward, no matter what challenges we face. Resilience is not about never experiencing fear or doubt, but about not letting those emotions control us. It's about staying grounded in our values, staying focused on our goals and continuing to take action, even when the path is difficult. Resilience allows us to face uncertainty with confidence, knowing that we have the inner strength to overcome whatever comes our way. This mindset helps us to take risks more freely because we know that we can handle the challenges that may arise. Another key to acting without fear is to cultivate mindfulness. The Stoics believed that by observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment, we can gain greater control over our reactions. Mindfulness helps us to recognize when we are being driven by fear, to pause before we react, and to choose our actions more consciously. This practice allows us to act with greater clarity and intention, rather than being swept away by our fears and anxieties. By cultivating mindfulness, we can develop the inner strength to face life's challenges with calm and composure. But acting without fear also requires self-compassion. The Stoics teach us that we are all imperfect, that we all make mistakes, and that this is a natural part of being human. By treating ourselves with kindness and understanding, we can reduce the fear of failure and the pressure to be perfect. Self-compassion helps us to accept our imperfections, to learn from our mistakes, and to keep moving forward even when things don't go as planned. This attitude allows us to take risks more freely because we know that we will not be overly harsh on ourselves if we fail. It also helps us to build resilience because we are better able to bounce back from setbacks when we treat ourselves with care and understanding. The Stoics also teach us the importance of having a sense of purpose. When we are clear about our values and our goals, we are more willing to take risks because we are guided by a deeper sense of meaning and direction. Purpose gives us the courage to face uncertainty, to take bold actions and to persevere in the face of challenges. It helps us to stay focused on what truly matters rather than being distracted by fears and doubts. By cultivating a sense of purpose, we can act with greater confidence and conviction knowing that we are on the right path, even if the outcome is uncertain. But perhaps the most profound lesson the Stoics offer us is the understanding that we have nothing to lose. The Stoics believed that true wealth comes not from external possessions or achievements, but from inner virtues like wisdom, courage and self-discipline. These are things that cannot be taken away from us, no matter what happens. When we internalize this, we realize that we have nothing to fear from loss or failure because our true worth is not dependent on external circumstances. This frees us to take risks, to pursue our dreams and to live boldly, knowing that our happiness and fulfillment come from within. As we embrace the Stoic teachings on acting without fear, we begin to see that the unknown is not something to be avoided but something to be embraced. It's in the unknown that we find growth, 
that we discover our true potential and that we live life to the fullest. The Stoics remind us that life is not about avoiding risks, but about facing them with courage, resilience and wisdom. By adopting this mindset, we can navigate life's uncertainties with confidence and grace, knowing that we have the inner strength to handle whatever comes our way. Acting without fear is about more than just taking risks. It's about embracing life with a sense of courage and purpose. The Stoics teach us that while we cannot control what happens to us, we can control how we respond. By focusing on what we can control, by challenging our fears, by preparing ourselves mentally and emotionally, and by letting go of the need for certainty and external validation, we can navigate life's uncertainties with confidence and grace. This mindset allows us to take risks, to pursue our dreams, and to live fully, knowing that we have nothing to lose and everything to gain. By embracing the stoic principles of memento mori, amor fati, and resilience, we can find peace and contentment in the midst of uncertainty, and we can act with clarity and purpose, even in the face of the unknown. This is the true essence of acting without fear, living with courage, embracing uncertainty, and trusting in our ability to navigate whatever comes our way. As we move from the exploration of acting without fear, embracing risk, and navigating uncertainty with courage, we now turn our focus to a principle that underpins all these actions, humility. In a world that often celebrates boldness and the loud proclamation of one's achievements, humility might seem like a paradox. Yet, the Stoics understood that true strength lies not in boasting or seeking validation, but in the quiet confidence that comes from knowing your worth without the need to broadcast it. What if the real power was found in restraint, in the ability to act without needing recognition, and in the quiet assurance that comes from within? Humility, according to the Stoics, is not about thinking less of yourself, but about recognizing that you are part of something larger. It's about understanding that while your actions matter, they do not define the whole. This perspective allows you to act with purpose and intention, without the need to draw attention to yourself. In fact, the Stoics believed that the need to boast or seek approval is a sign of insecurity, not strength. When you are secure in who you are and in the value of your actions, you don't need others to validate your worth. You can move through life with a quiet confidence that is far more powerful than any external recognition. This humility begins with a clear understanding of your own limitations. The Stoics teach us that no matter how skilled or knowledgeable we become, there is always more to learn, always room for growth. This awareness keeps us grounded, preventing us from becoming arrogant or complacent. It reminds us that every achievement is part of a larger journey and that true wisdom lies in the continual pursuit of improvement. By acknowledging our limitations, we open ourselves up to learning from others, to listening more than we speak, and to growing in ways we might not have anticipated. Humility also involves recognizing that our successes are often the result of factors beyond our control. The Stoics were keenly aware of the role that fate, chance, and the contributions of others play in our lives. This awareness fosters a sense of gratitude rather than pride. When we succeed, the Stoics encourage us to remember that our achievements are not solely our own. They are the result of countless influences, from the guidance of mentors to the support of loved ones and even the favorable circumstances we find ourselves in. This perspective keeps us humble, reminding us that while we play a part in our successes, we are never the sole author of our fate. Another key aspect of Stoic humility is the understanding that external recognition is fleeting. The Stoics teach us to value inner virtues over external accolades. While it might feel good to receive praise or recognition, these things are temporary and often out of our control. True fulfillment comes from living in accordance with our values 
and knowing that we have done our best, regardless of whether others notice or approve. This inward focus allows us to act without the need for external validation, freeing us from the anxiety of constantly seeking approval. Humility also strengthens our relationships with others. When we approach others with humility, we open ourselves up to genuine connections. We listen more, judge less, and appreciate the contributions of others without feeling threatened by them. This kind of humility fosters a sense of community and collaboration, where people work together not for personal glory, but for the collective good. The Stoics understood that when we let go of the need to be the center of attention, we create space for others to shine, which in turn creates a more harmonious and supportive environment for everyone. In moments of success, humility keeps us grounded. It reminds us not to get carried away by our achievements, but to remain focused on our goals and values. The Stoics believed that pride often precedes a fall and that the moment we start to believe we are invincible, we become vulnerable. Humility protects us from this trap by keeping us aware of our own fallibility and by reminding us that success is never guaranteed. This awareness helps us to remain vigilant, to continue striving for excellence and to avoid the complacency that can lead to our downfall. Humility also plays a crucial role in how we handle failure. The Stoics teach us that failure is not a reflection of our worth, but a natural part of the human experience. When we approach failure with humility, we are more likely to learn from it and to use it as an opportunity for growth. Instead of being crushed by our mistakes, we can accept them as part of our journey and move forward with a renewed sense of purpose. This perspective allows us to face challenges with resilience, knowing that our value is not diminished by setbacks, but rather defined by how we respond to them. Another important aspect of Stoic humility is the rejection of arrogance. The Stoics teach us that arrogance is a sign of weakness, not strength. It is often a mask for insecurity, a way of compensating for our own doubts by putting others down or inflating our own importance. True strength, according to the Stoics, comes from the quiet confidence of knowing who you are and what you stand for without the need to prove it to others. This kind of strength is unshakable because it is rooted in self-awareness and self-respect rather than in the fragile validation of others. The Stoics also remind us that humility is essential for wisdom. When we approach life with humility, we are more open to new ideas, more willing to listen to others, and more receptive to learning from our experiences. This openness is the foundation of wisdom because it allows us to see the world as it truly is, rather than through the distorted lens of ego. By acknowledging that we don't have all the answers, we create space for growth, for understanding, and for the continual pursuit of knowledge. This mindset keeps us humble, curious, and always striving to be better. Humility also helps us to navigate the inevitable ups and downs of life with grace. The Stoics teach us that life is full of challenges and that how we respond to these challenges is what defines us. When we approach life with humility, we are better able to accept the things we cannot control and to focus on what we can. This mindset allows us to remain calm in the face of adversity, to persevere through difficulties and to maintain our composure even when things don't go as planned. Humility gives us the strength to endure, to adapt, and to keep moving forward, no matter what obstacles we encounter. One of the most profound aspects of Stoic humility is its focus on service. The Stoics believed that we are all part of a larger community and that our actions should be guided by a sense of responsibility to others. This means putting the needs of the collective above our own desire for recognition or praise. When we act with humility, we are motivated by a genuine desire to contribute, to help others, and to make a positive impact on the world. This focus on service not only benefits others, 
but also enriches our own lives, bringing us a deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment. Humility also encourages us to practice forgiveness, both towards ourselves and others. The Stoics teach us that holding on to grudges or dwelling on past mistakes only hinders our growth. By approaching life with humility, we can let go of the need to be right, to win every argument, or to hold on to our pride. Instead, we can focus on what truly matters, our relationships, our integrity, and our personal growth. Forgiveness allows us to move forward, to heal, and to grow without being weighed down by the past. This practice of forgiveness is a key aspect of Stoic humility, and it enables us to live with greater peace and contentment. Another critical element of Stoic humility is the ability to admit when we are wrong. The Stoics teach us that admitting our mistakes is not a sign of weakness, but of strength. It takes courage to acknowledge when we have erred, and it is through this acknowledgement that we can learn and grow. By embracing humility, we free ourselves from the need to always be right, and we open ourselves up to the possibility of change and improvement. This willingness to admit our mistakes is what allows us to continue growing, to deepen our understanding, and to become wiser over time. Humility also fosters a sense of gratitude. The Stoics remind us that everything we have, from our abilities to our possessions, is ultimately a gift, not something we are entitled to. When we approach life with humility, we are more likely to appreciate what we have, to value the contributions of others, and to live with a sense of gratitude for the opportunities and experiences that come our way. This gratitude enriches our lives, bringing us joy and contentment, and it also strengthens our relationships with others as we express our appreciation for their support and kindness. Finally, humility allows us to live authentically. The Stoics teach us that true fulfillment comes from living in alignment with our values, not from seeking the approval of others. When we act with humility, we are guided by our own principles, rather than by the desire to impress or outshine others. This authenticity allows us to live with integrity, to stay true to ourselves, and to find meaning and purpose in our actions. It frees us from the pressure to conform to external expectations, and it empowers us to pursue our own path, even if it is different from what others might expect. The Stoics advocate for humility not as a form of self-deprecation, but as a source of strength. Humility allows us to act without the need for recognition, to approach life with a sense of gratitude and service, and to live authentically, guided by our values rather than by the desire for external validation. It is through humility that we find the strength to continue growing, learning, and improving, no matter what challenges we face. By embracing humility, we can live with greater peace, contentment, and fulfillment, knowing that our worth is not defined by what others think of us, but by the quality of our character and the integrity of our actions. This is the true strength of humility, and it is a lesson that the Stoics offer us as a guide to living a meaningful and purposeful life. As we journey deeper into the wisdom of Stoicism, from the quiet strength of humility to the recognition of our place in a larger whole, we now arrive at a concept that is perhaps the most liberating of all, impermanence. What if the key to living fearlessly lies in embracing the very things we often fear the most? Change, loss, and the inevitability of our own mortality. Picture what life could look like if, instead of resisting these truths, we welcomed them as essential parts of our existence. How different would our decisions be if we truly believed that we have nothing to lose because everything we hold dear is ultimately fleeting? The Stoics understood that the acceptance of impermanence is not just a philosophical idea, but a powerful way to live with courage, clarity, and peace. Impermanence is a fact of life that we often try to ignore or avoid. 
We cling to the idea of permanence because it gives us a sense of security. We want to believe that our relationships, our possessions, our successes, and even our own lives will last forever. But the Stoics teach us that this clinging is the very source of much of our suffering. By resisting the natural flow of life, we set ourselves up for disappointment and fear. Instead, the Stoics invite us to embrace impermanence as a fundamental truth. They encourage us to see change not as a threat, but as an opportunity, a chance to grow, to adapt, and to experience life in its fullest, most authentic form. When we accept that everything is impermanent, we begin to live with a new sense of freedom. The fear of loss no longer has the same hold on us because we understand that loss is inevitable. This understanding allows us to appreciate the present moment more deeply. We realize that every experience, every relationship, and every moment is unique and fleeting. Instead of taking these things for granted, we cherish them, knowing that they will not last forever. This mindset shifts our focus from clinging to what we have to appreciating it while it is here. It allows us to live more fully in the present, without the constant worry about what might be lost in the future. The Stoics remind us that by embracing impermanence, we can live without the fear of change. Change is often seen as something to be feared because it disrupts our routines, our plans, and our expectations. But change is also what drives growth and innovation. It is what keeps life dynamic and interesting. When we stop resisting change and start embracing it, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and experiences. We become more adaptable, more resilient, and more open to the unexpected twists and turns that life inevitably brings. This adaptability is a cornerstone of living fearlessly, as it equips us to handle whatever comes our way with grace and confidence. The acceptance of impermanence also helps us to let go of attachments. The Stoics teach that attachments to people, possessions, or even ideas can be a source of great suffering. When we become too attached, we begin to fear losing the things or people we care about. This fear can lead to anxiety, stress, and a reluctance to take risks. But when we embrace the idea that nothing is permanent, we can loosen our grip on these attachments. This doesn't mean we stop caring or stop loving. It means we love and care with the understanding that these things are temporary. This understanding allows us to enjoy what we have without the constant fear of losing it. It also gives us the courage to let go when the time comes, knowing that this is a natural part of life. Living with the awareness of impermanence also encourages us to focus on what truly matters. When we realize that our time is limited, we are more likely to prioritize our values, our relationships, and our passions. We stop wasting time on trivial matters and start investing our energy in the things that bring us joy, fulfillment, and meaning. The Stoics encourage us to live each day as if it were our last, not in a reckless or fearful way, but with a sense of purpose and intentionality. This approach helps us to make the most of every moment, to live with fewer regrets, and to leave behind a legacy that reflects our true selves. The Stoic practice of memento mori, or remembering that we will die, is a powerful tool for embracing impermanence. This practice is not meant to be morbid or depressing, it is meant to inspire us to live fully and fearlessly. When we remind ourselves that our time is finite, we are more likely to take risks, to pursue our dreams, and to live in alignment with our values. Memento Mori helps us to put our fears in perspective, to recognize that many of the things we worry about are insignificant in the grand scheme of things, and to focus on what truly matters. This practice encourages us to live with a sense of urgency, not in the sense of rushing through life, but in the sense of making the most of the time we have. Another aspect of embracing impermanence is learning to accept the natural cycles of life. The Stoics remind us that life is full of cycles, birth and death, growth and decay, 
beginnings and endings. These cycles are not something to be feared or resisted. They are a natural part of existence. When we accept these cycles, we can navigate the ups and downs of life with greater ease. We understand that every ending is also a beginning, that every loss is an opportunity for new growth, and that every challenge is a chance to build resilience. This acceptance helps us to move through life with greater peace and confidence, knowing that we can handle whatever comes our way. Embracing impermanence also teaches us to find beauty in the fleeting nature of life. The Stoics encourage us to appreciate the transient moments of joy, love, and connection that we experience. These moments are precious precisely because they are temporary. When we fully embrace impermanence, we can savor these moments without the need to cling to them. We can appreciate the beauty of a sunset, the warmth of a hug, or the joy of a shared laugh, knowing that these experiences are unique and unrepeatable. This appreciation brings a sense of richness and depth to our lives, allowing us to live with greater awareness and gratitude. The acceptance of impermanence also helps us to let go of the fear of failure. The Stoics remind us that failure is a natural part of life and that it is not something to be feared, but something to be learned from. When we understand that our failures, like everything else, are temporary, we can approach challenges with greater courage and resilience. We are more willing to take risks, to step out of our comfort zones, and to pursue our goals, knowing that even if we fail, we will learn and grow from the experience. This mindset frees us from the paralysis of perfectionism and allows us to live more boldly and authentically. Living with the awareness of impermanence also helps us to cultivate a sense of detachment. The Stoics teach that detachment is not about being indifferent or uncaring, it is about recognizing that our happiness does not depend on external circumstances. When we embrace impermanence, we can detach from the outcome of our actions, knowing that we cannot control everything that happens. This detachment allows us to act with greater freedom and peace of mind because we are not attached to a specific result. We are focused on doing our best, on living in accordance with our values and on accepting whatever comes our way with grace and equanimity. Embracing impermanence also encourages us to practice gratitude. The Stoics remind us that everything we have, our health, our relationships, our possessions, is temporary. This awareness helps us to appreciate these things more deeply and to live with a sense of gratitude for the present moment. Gratitude allows us to focus on what we have rather than on what we fear losing. It helps us to see the beauty and abundance in our lives, even in the midst of challenges. This practice of gratitude brings a sense of joy and contentment, even in the face of impermanence, and allows us to live with a greater sense of peace and fulfillment. The Stoics also teach us that embracing impermanence helps us to live with greater compassion. When we understand that everyone is going through their own journey of change and loss, we are more likely to approach others with kindness and empathy. We recognize that just as we experience joy and sorrow, so do others. This understanding fosters a sense of connection and compassion, allowing us to build deeper, more meaningful relationships. Compassion also helps us to forgive more easily, to let go of grudges, and to approach conflicts with a desire for resolution and understanding. Another important aspect of embracing impermanence is the ability to let go of control. The Stoics remind us that while we can control our actions and our attitudes, we cannot control the outcome of events. This understanding helps us to release the need to control everything and to trust in the natural flow of life. Letting go of control allows us to live with greater freedom and flexibility, to adapt to changing circumstances and to find peace in the midst of uncertainty. This mindset frees us from the anxiety of trying to manage every detail and allows us to focus on what truly matters, living in alignment with our values and making the most of each moment. 
Embracing impermanence also encourages us to live with greater authenticity. When we understand that our time is limited, we are more likely to live in alignment with our true selves. We stop trying to be what others expect us to be and start living according to our own values and desires. This authenticity allows us to live with greater purpose and fulfillment, knowing that we are staying true to ourselves. It also frees us from the pressure to conform to societal expectations, allowing us to pursue our own path with confidence and clarity. The Stoics also remind us that embracing impermanence helps us to live with greater courage. When we accept that everything is temporary, we are more willing to take risks, to step out of our comfort zones, and to pursue our dreams. We understand that even if we fail, the failure is not permanent, it is simply a part of our journey. This understanding gives us the courage to face challenges head-on, to persevere in the face of obstacles, and to keep moving forward even when the path is uncertain. This courage is not about being fearless, it is about acknowledging our fears and choosing to act anyway, knowing that we have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Living with the awareness of impermanence also helps us to find peace in the present moment. The Stoics teach us that the present moment is the only time we truly have. The past is gone and the future is uncertain. When we embrace this truth, we can let go of regrets about the past and worries about the future and focus on living fully in the present. This focus on the present allows us to experience life more deeply, to appreciate the beauty and wonder of each moment, and to live with a sense of peace and contentment, knowing that we are making the most of our time. Embracing impermanence is a powerful way to live fearlessly, knowing that we have nothing to lose. The Stoics teach us that everything in life is temporary, our successes, our failures, our joys, and our sorrows. By accepting this truth, we can let go of the fear of loss, the need for control, and the attachment to outcomes. We can live with greater freedom, adaptability, and resilience, knowing that we are capable of handling whatever comes our way. This mindset allows us to focus on what truly matters, to live with purpose and intention, and to find peace and contentment in the present moment. By embracing impermanence, we can live with courage, clarity, and a deep sense of fulfillment, knowing that every moment is precious and that we have nothing to lose. Having explored the liberating power of embracing impermanence and how it allows us to live fearlessly, we now turn to a principle that is equally transformative, the art of strategic restraint. Imagine the power in knowing when to act and when to hold back, when to speak and when to remain silent. What if the key to leading a life of wisdom and strength lies not in always taking action, but in the ability to pause, to reflect, and to choose our responses carefully? The Stoics understood that true power often resides in restraint, in the deliberate choice to control one's impulses and to act with purpose rather than haste. In a world that often encourages us to react quickly, the wisdom of the Stoics invites us to consider the profound impact of acting only when necessary and speaking only when it truly matters. Strategic restraint begins with self-awareness. The Stoics teach that in order to exercise restraint effectively, we must first understand our own impulses and reactions. This involves observing our thoughts and emotions without immediately acting on them. By taking a moment to pause before reacting, we create space to evaluate the situation, consider the consequences of our actions, and choose a response that aligns with our values. This practice of self-awareness is fundamental to the stoic approach to life. It allows us to break free from the automatic, often unproductive reactions that can lead to unnecessary conflict or regret. In many situations, the decision to refrain from action is more powerful than the decision to act. 
The Stoics believed that not every situation demands our intervention and not every thought needs to be expressed. They recognized that silence and inaction can be forms of strength, especially when driven by wisdom rather than fear or indecision. By exercising restraint, we avoid getting caught up in the drama of the moment and maintain our composure. This not only preserves our peace of mind, but also allows us to approach challenges with greater clarity and purpose. When we choose to hold back, we give ourselves the opportunity to respond thoughtfully rather than impulsively, leading to more effective and meaningful actions. The ability to choose when to speak and when to remain silent is a powerful tool in maintaining harmony in our relationships. The Stoics understood that words have the power to heal or to harm, and that once spoken, they cannot be taken back. By practicing restraint in our speech, we avoid saying things that might cause unnecessary pain or conflict. This doesn't mean that we avoid difficult conversations or shy away from expressing our truth, but rather that we do so with care and consideration. We speak when it is necessary and beneficial, and we remain silent when our words would do more harm than good. This mindful approach to communication fosters trust and respect in our relationships, as others come to see us as thoughtful and measured in our interactions. Strategic restraint also plays a crucial role in how we manage our time and energy. The Stoics recognized that our resources, time, energy, attention, are limited and that we must use them wisely. By exercising restraint, we can avoid wasting these resources on trivial matters or on actions that do not serve our greater purpose. This means learning to say no to distractions, to prioritize what is truly important, and to focus our efforts on what will bring the most meaningful results. When we practice restraint in how we allocate our time and energy, we create more space for the things that truly matter, leading to a more fulfilling and purposeful life. In moments of conflict, strategic restraint can be the difference between escalation and resolution. The Stoics taught that not every disagreement needs to be a battle and that sometimes the most powerful response is no response at all. By choosing to remain calm and composed in the face of provocation, we disarm our opponents and prevent conflicts from escalating. This doesn't mean that we allow ourselves to be mistreated or that we avoid standing up for what is right, but rather that we choose our battles wisely and respond in a way that is constructive rather than destructive. This approach allows us to maintain our dignity and integrity, even in difficult situations, and to resolve conflicts in a way that aligns with our values. Strategic restraint also involves knowing when to act with decisiveness and when to wait for the right moment. The Stoics believed that timing is crucial in both speech and action. Acting too quickly can lead to mistakes, while waiting too long can result in missed opportunities. By cultivating patience and discernment, we can learn to recognize the right moment to act, when our actions will be most effective and impactful. This requires a deep understanding of the situation, as well as the ability to trust our instincts and judgment. When we practice restraint in this way, we position ourselves to act with greater confidence and success. The Stoics also emphasized the importance of restraint in our desires and impulses. They understood that unchecked desires can lead to suffering as we become enslaved to our cravings and whims. By practicing restraint, we can free ourselves from the tyranny of our desires and focus on what truly matters. This doesn't mean denying ourselves pleasure or living a life of deprivation, but rather finding balance and moderation in all things. When we exercise restraint in our desires, we cultivate self-discipline and inner peace, allowing us to live in alignment with our values and to pursue our goals with greater clarity and focus. In addition to managing our desires, strategic restraint also applies to how we handle success and praise. The Stoics teach that it is important to remain humble and grounded, even in moments of achievement. 
When we experience success, it is easy to become carried away by pride and to seek recognition from others. However, the Stoics remind us that true strength lies in quiet confidence and that we do not need external validation to affirm our worth. By practicing restraint in how we respond to praise, we maintain our humility and continue to focus on our growth and development. This allows us to build on our successes without becoming complacent or losing sight of our values. The practice of strategic restraint also extends to how we manage our emotions. The Stoics believed that emotions, while natural and important, should not be allowed to control our actions. By practicing restraint, we can acknowledge our emotions without being overwhelmed by them. This involves observing our feelings with detachment, understanding their source, and choosing how to respond in a way that aligns with our values. This doesn't mean suppressing our emotions or denying them, but rather integrating them into our decision-making process in a way that is thoughtful and balanced. When we exercise restraint in this way, we can navigate even the most challenging situations with grace and composure. Strategic restraint also involves the discipline of letting go, of past mistakes, of grudges, and of the need to be right. The Stoics teach that holding on to these things only weighs us down and prevents us from moving forward. By practicing restraint, we can release the burdens that no longer serve us and focus on what truly matters. This allows us to approach life with a sense of lightness and freedom, unencumbered by the past and open to the possibilities of the future. Letting go is not a sign of weakness, but of strength. It is an acknowledgement that we cannot change the past, but we can choose how we move forward. Another important aspect of strategic restraint is the ability to listen more than we speak. The Stoics understood that true wisdom comes not from talking, but from listening and learning. By practicing restraint in our speech, we open ourselves up to the insights and perspectives of others. This not only deepens our understanding, but also fosters a sense of connection and respect in our relationships. When we listen more than we speak, we demonstrate humility and a willingness to learn, which are essential qualities for personal growth and meaningful interactions. This approach also allows us to gather more information before making decisions, leading to more thoughtful and informed actions. The Stoics also teach that strategic restraint is essential for maintaining our integrity. In a world where it is often tempting to cut corners or to act in ways that compromise our values, restraint helps us to stay true to ourselves. By choosing to act with integrity, even when it is difficult, we build a reputation for reliability and trustworthiness. This not only enhances our relationships, but also strengthens our sense of self-respect. When we exercise restraint in our actions, we demonstrate that we are guided by principles rather than by expediency, and that we are committed to doing what is right, regardless of the immediate consequences. In addition to preserving our integrity, strategic restraint also enhances our ability to influence others. The Stoics recognize that influence is not about force or manipulation, but about leading by example. By practicing restraint in how we interact with others, we demonstrate self-control and wisdom, which can inspire respect and admiration. When others see that we are not driven by impulsive reactions, but by thoughtful consideration, they are more likely to trust and follow our lead. This approach to influence is not about asserting power over others, but about guiding and supporting them in a way that is respectful and constructive. Strategic restraint also plays a crucial role in how we handle adversity. The Stoics teach that life is full of challenges and that how we respond to these challenges is what defines us. By practicing restraint, we can maintain our composure in the face of difficulties and avoid making rash decisions that we may later regret. Restraint allows us to take a step back, 
to assess the situation objectively and to respond in a way that is aligned with our values and goals. This approach not only helps us to navigate adversity more effectively, but also strengthens our resilience and our ability to persevere through difficult times. The Stoics also remind us that strategic restraint is essential for achieving long-term success. In a world that often values immediate gratification, restraint teaches us the importance of patience and perseverance. By delaying immediate rewards in favor of long-term goals, we can achieve greater success and fulfillment in the end. This involves making sacrifices in the short term, but it also leads to more meaningful and lasting outcomes. When we practice restraint in this way, we demonstrate that we are committed to our goals and that we are willing to put in the effort and discipline required to achieve them. Strategic restraint also enhances our ability to make wise decisions. The Stoics believe that wisdom comes from careful consideration and reflection rather than from hasty action. By practicing restraint, we give ourselves the time and space to think through our options, to weigh the potential consequences, and to choose the course of action that is most aligned with our values and goals. This approach to decision-making not only leads to better outcomes, but also helps us to avoid the pitfalls of impulsive or reactive choices. When we exercise restraint in our decision-making, we demonstrate that we are guided by wisdom rather than by emotion, and that we are committed to making choices that are thoughtful and deliberate. The art of strategic restraint is a powerful tool for living a life of wisdom, strength and purpose. The Stoics teach us that true power often lies in knowing when to hold back, when to speak and when to act. By practicing restraint, we can maintain our composure in the face of challenges, make thoughtful and informed decisions and build stronger and more meaningful relationships. Restraint allows us to stay true to our values, to focus on what truly matters and to live with integrity and purpose. In a world that often encourages us to react quickly, the wisdom of the Stoics invites us to pause, to reflect and to choose our responses carefully. This approach to life not only leads to greater success and fulfillment, but also brings a sense of peace and clarity that allows us to navigate the complexities of life with confidence and grace. As we move from the powerful concept of strategic restraint, where wisdom teaches us the value of choosing when to speak and act, we now delve into an equally profound aspect of Stoicism, the cultivation of inner fortitude. Imagine a strength so deep and unshakable that it doesn't require external validation, a confidence that radiates not through loud declarations, but through quiet, steady resolve. What if the key to true confidence lies not in outward displays of power, but in the cultivation of inner resilience? A resilience that allows you to face life's challenges with a calm and unwavering spirit. The Stoics believed that true strength comes from within, from the ability to remain steadfast in the face of adversity and to draw on a quiet strength that empowers you to navigate life with confidence and grace. Inner fortitude begins with self-mastery. The Stoics taught that before we can face the challenges of the external world, we must first conquer the turmoil within. This means developing the ability to control our thoughts, emotions and reactions, rather than being controlled by them. By practicing self-discipline, we learn to respond to situations with clarity and purpose, rather than being driven by impulsive emotions. This control over our inner world is the foundation of true confidence. It gives us the ability to remain calm and composed in the face of adversity, knowing that we have the power to choose our response, regardless of the circumstances. This quiet strength is not about suppressing our emotions, but about understanding them and integrating them into our lives in a way that serves our higher purpose. The Stoics teach us to observe our emotions without being overwhelmed by them. 
By cultivating this level of self-awareness, we can acknowledge our fears, doubts and anxieties without letting them dictate our actions. This practice of emotional resilience allows us to face challenges with a steady heart, knowing that while we may not control the external world, we can control how we respond to it. This inner fortitude gives us the confidence to move forward, even when the path ahead is uncertain. A key element of inner fortitude is the understanding that true confidence does not come from external achievements or the approval of others, but from living in alignment with our values. The Stoics believed that when we base our sense of self-worth on things outside of our control, such as success, status, or the opinions of others, we become vulnerable to insecurity and doubt. But when we root our confidence in our own actions, in our commitment to living a virtuous life, we build a foundation of self-assurance that cannot be shaken by external circumstances. This internal grounding allows us to face life's challenges with a sense of calm and confidence, knowing that our worth is not dependent on the ever-changing tides of the outside world. The Stoics also teach that inner fortitude is built through the acceptance of impermanence and the practice of detachment. When we accept that everything in life is temporary, we can let go of the fear of loss and the need to cling to things that are ultimately beyond our control. This detachment doesn't mean we stop caring, but rather that we approach life with a sense of equanimity, knowing that we can handle whatever comes our way. This acceptance frees us from the anxiety that often accompanies uncertainty and allows us to face challenges with a clear and focused mind. By cultivating this mindset, we develop a quiet strength that enables us to navigate the ups and downs of life with confidence and grace. Another important aspect of inner fortitude is resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks and to keep moving forward even in the face of adversity. The Stoics believed that resilience is not about avoiding challenges, but about facing them head on and using them as opportunities for growth. When we encounter difficulties, we can choose to see them not as obstacles, but as stepping stones on our path to self-mastery. This perspective allows us to approach challenges with a sense of determination and resolve, knowing that each obstacle we overcome makes us stronger. This resilience is a key component of inner fortitude as it gives us the confidence to face whatever life throws our way with courage and perseverance. The Stoics also emphasized the importance of perseverance in building inner fortitude. They understood that achieving anything meaningful in life requires sustained effort and a willingness to endure difficulties along the way. By committing ourselves to our goals and values, even when the going gets tough, we build the inner strength necessary to stay the course. This perseverance is not about stubbornness or blind determination, but about a deep sense of purpose and commitment to living in alignment with our principles. When we persevere through challenges, we reinforce our confidence in our ability to overcome adversity and achieve our goals. Inner fortitude also involves the cultivation of self-compassion. The Stoics teach us that while it is important to hold ourselves to high standards, it is equally important to be kind and understanding toward ourselves when we fall short. By practicing self-compassion, we can acknowledge our mistakes and failures without being consumed by guilt or shame. This allows us to learn from our experiences and to continue growing rather than being held back by self-doubt. This balance of self-discipline and self-compassion is essential for building a strong and resilient sense of self, one that can weather the storms of life with confidence and grace. The Stoics also remind us that inner fortitude is about embracing the present moment. They teach that the present is the only time we truly have, and that by focusing on the here and now, we can free ourselves from the regrets of the past and the anxieties of the future. By living fully in the present, we can approach each moment with clarity and intention, 
making the most of the opportunities before us. This mindfulness allows us to act with confidence, knowing that we are fully engaged in the present and that we are making decisions that are aligned with our values and goals. Another crucial aspect of inner fortitude is the ability to maintain perspective. The Stoics teach that in the grand scheme of things, many of the challenges we face are smaller than they seem in the moment. By cultivating a broader perspective, we can avoid getting caught up in the trivialities of daily life and focus on what truly matters. This perspective allows us to approach challenges with a sense of calm and confidence, knowing that we have the strength to handle whatever comes our way. It also helps us to stay grounded and to avoid being overwhelmed by the ups and downs of life. Inner fortitude is also built through the practice of gratitude. The Stoics teach that by focusing on what we have, rather than on what we lack, we can cultivate a sense of contentment and peace. Gratitude allows us to appreciate the present moment and to find joy in the simple things in life. This mindset helps to build confidence by reminding us of the abundance that already exists in our lives and by freeing us from the constant desire for more. When we practice gratitude, we strengthen our inner fortitude by grounding ourselves in the present and by cultivating a sense of appreciation for the world around us. The Stoics also emphasize the importance of humility in building inner fortitude. They teach that true confidence comes not from arrogance or pride, but from a deep understanding of our place in the world. By recognizing our limitations and remaining open to learning from others, we build a foundation of wisdom and strength that is unshakable. Humility allows us to approach life with a sense of curiosity and openness, rather than being driven by the need to prove ourselves. This mindset fosters a quiet confidence that is rooted in self-awareness and self-respect, rather than in the validation of others. Another key element of inner fortitude is the practice of self-reliance. The Stoics teach that while we are part of a larger community, we must also cultivate the ability to stand on our own. This means developing the skills and mindset necessary to navigate life's challenges independently without relying on others to solve our problems for us. By building self-reliance, we strengthen our inner fortitude and develop the confidence to face challenges with courage and resilience. This doesn't mean isolating ourselves from others, but rather recognizing that true strength comes from within and that we are capable of handling whatever life throws our way. The Stoics also teach that inner fortitude involves the practice of acceptance. They remind us that while we can control our actions and attitudes, there are many things in life that are beyond our control. By accepting the things we cannot change, we free ourselves from the anxiety and frustration that comes from trying to control the uncontrollable. This acceptance allows us to focus our energy on the things we can change and to approach life with a sense of calm and confidence. It also helps us to navigate challenges with grace, knowing that we can handle whatever comes our way, even when it is not what we had planned. Inner fortitude is also about cultivating a sense of purpose. The Stoics teach that by living in alignment with our values and pursuing meaningful goals, we build a sense of confidence and fulfillment that is unshakable. This sense of purpose gives us the strength to persevere through challenges and to stay focused on what truly matters. When we are guided by a clear sense of purpose, we can face life's challenges with a sense of determination and resolve, knowing that we are on the right path and that our efforts are meaningful. This purpose-driven approach to life is a key component of inner fortitude, as it gives us the motivation and strength to keep moving forward, even in the face of adversity. The Stoics also remind us that inner fortitude is about the ability to adapt to change. They teach that life is full of uncertainty and that the ability to adapt is essential for building resilience and confidence. By remaining flexible and open to new possibilities, 
we can navigate life's twists and turns with grace and ease. This adaptability allows us to face challenges with a sense of calm and confidence, knowing that we have the ability to adjust our course as needed and to find new ways to achieve our goals. This flexibility is a key aspect of inner fortitude, as it allows us to remain resilient in the face of change and to approach life's challenges with confidence and creativity. Inner fortitude is the foundation of true confidence. The Stoics teach us that this quiet strength comes not from external achievements or the approval of others, but from within, from the ability to control our thoughts and emotions, to live in alignment with our values, and to face life's challenges with resilience and grace. By cultivating inner fortitude, we build a deep and unshakable confidence that allows us to navigate life with courage, clarity, and purpose. This inner strength empowers us to face whatever comes our way, knowing that we have the resilience, wisdom, and determination to overcome any obstacle. In a world that often values outward displays of power, the Stoics remind us that true strength lies in the quiet, steady resolve that comes from within. Having explored the depth of inner fortitude and the quiet confidence that arises from within, we now turn our attention to a principle that is at the heart of Stoic wisdom, the art of letting go. Imagine the freedom and peace that could come from releasing the attachments that weigh you down, whether they are material possessions, relationships, or even deeply held beliefs and expectations. What if the key to true empowerment and inner peace lies not in holding on, but in the ability to let go? The Stoics believed that by practicing non-attachment, we unlock a profound sense of freedom and strength that allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Letting go of attachments begins with understanding the nature of impermanence. The Stoics taught that everything in life is temporary, our possessions, our relationships, our successes, and even our own lives. When we cling to these things, we set ourselves up for suffering because we are trying to hold on to something that is inherently fleeting. By embracing impermanence, we can begin to release our grip on the things that we cannot keep forever. This does not mean that we stop caring or that we become indifferent, but rather that we learn to appreciate the present moment without the fear of losing it. This mindset allows us to experience life more fully knowing that we are not defined by the things we own or the relationships we have, but by how we live and respond to the world around us. The Stoics believed that true empowerment comes from within, not from external circumstances. When we attach our happiness or sense of self-worth to external things, whether it's material possessions, status, or the approval of others, we become vulnerable to the whims of fate. These things are beyond our control, and when they inevitably change or disappear, we are left feeling empty and lost. By practicing non-attachment, we shift our focus from external sources of validation to the internal qualities that truly matter, our values, our character, and our ability to navigate life with wisdom and integrity. This shift in perspective empowers us to live more freely, without the constant anxiety of losing what we hold dear. One of the most challenging attachments to let go of is our attachment to outcomes. We often become fixated on achieving specific goals or outcomes, believing that our happiness depends on their success. However, the Stoics teach that while we can control our efforts, the outcome is often beyond our control. By letting go of our attachment to specific outcomes, we free ourselves from the anxiety and stress that comes from trying to control the uncontrollable. This does not mean that we stop striving for our goals, but rather that we approach them with a sense of detachment, knowing that our worth is not tied to the results, but to the effort and integrity we bring to the process. This mindset allows us to pursue our goals with greater focus and clarity without being paralyzed by the fear of failure. 
Another important aspect of non-attachment is the ability to let go of the past. The Stoics remind us that the past is beyond our control and that dwelling on it only prevents us from fully engaging with the present. When we hold on to past regrets, mistakes, or even past successes, we limit our ability to move forward and grow. By letting go of the past, we free ourselves from the weight of what has already happened and open ourselves up to the possibilities of the present and future. This practice of non-attachment to the past allows us to live more fully in the moment, making choices that are aligned with our values and goals rather than being driven by the ghosts of what once was. Non-attachment also applies to our relationships. The Stoics teach that while relationships are an important part of life, they should not be the source of our happiness or self-worth. When we become overly attached to the people in our lives, we set ourselves up for disappointment and pain when those relationships change or end. By practicing non-attachment in our relationships, we can appreciate and enjoy them for what they are without the fear of losing them. This does not mean that we stop caring or that we distance ourselves from others, but rather that we approach our relationships with a sense of balance and perspective, understanding that we cannot control others or their actions. This mindset allows us to love more freely and deeply without the fear of loss and to maintain our sense of self even when relationships evolve or end. Another area where non-attachment is essential is in our attachment to our own ideas and beliefs. The Stoics encourage us to remain open to new perspectives and to be willing to change our minds when presented with new information or insights. When we become overly attached to our own opinions, we close ourselves off to growth and learning. By practicing non-attachment to our beliefs, we cultivate a sense of humility and curiosity that allows us to continue growing and evolving. This openness to change and growth is a key aspect of Stoic wisdom, as it allows us to adapt to new circumstances and to approach life with a sense of wonder and discovery. Letting go of attachments also involves releasing our need for control. The Stoics teach that much of our suffering comes from our desire to control things that are beyond our control. When we try to control everything, whether it's the actions of others, the outcomes of our efforts, or the events of the world, we set ourselves up for frustration and disappointment. By letting go of this need for control, we free ourselves from the constant stress and anxiety that comes from trying to manage the unmanageable. This does not mean that we become passive or indifferent, but rather that we focus our energy on what we can control, our own thoughts, actions, and responses. This shift in focus allows us to live with greater peace and resilience, knowing that we are doing our best in a world that is inherently unpredictable. Non-attachment also helps us to cultivate a sense of inner peace. The Stoics teach that true peace comes not from the absence of challenges, but from the ability to remain calm and centered in the midst of them. When we are attached to specific outcomes or external circumstances, we become easily shaken by the inevitable ups and downs of life. By letting go of these attachments, we create a space of inner stillness that allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and composure. This inner peace is not about avoiding difficulties, but about facing them with a sense of equanimity knowing that our well-being does not depend on external circumstances, but on our own inner strength and wisdom. Another important aspect of non-attachment is the ability to let go of our expectations. The Stoics remind us that expectations are often the source of our disappointment and frustration, as they are based on our desires rather than on reality. When we expect things to be a certain way, we set ourselves up for disappointment when reality does not match our expectations. By letting go of these expectations, we free ourselves to experience life as it is, rather than as we think it should be. This does not mean that we stop setting goals or striving for what we want, 
but rather that we approach life with a sense of openness and flexibility, allowing ourselves to adapt to whatever comes our way. This mindset allows us to live more fully in the present, without being burdened by unmet expectations or rigid demands. The practice of non-attachment also extends to our material possessions. The Stoics teach that while material things can bring comfort and convenience, they should not be the source of our happiness or self-worth. When we become overly attached to our possessions, we are at risk of losing our sense of identity and security if those possessions are taken away or lost. By practicing non-attachment to material things, we can enjoy them for what they are, temporary conveniences, without allowing them to define us. This mindset allows us to live more simply and freely, without the constant need for more, and to find contentment in the things that truly matter, our relationships, our values, and our personal growth. Non-attachment also involves letting go of our need for approval from others. The Stoics teach that our worth is not determined by what others think of us, but by our own actions and character. When we become attached to the approval of others, we become vulnerable to insecurity and self-doubt, as our sense of self-worth is dependent on external validation. By practicing non-attachment to the opinions of others, we free ourselves to live authentically according to our own values and principles. This does not mean that we become indifferent to others or that we stop caring about their opinions, but rather that we place our own sense of integrity and self-respect above the need for external validation. This mindset allows us to live more confidently and authentically without being swayed by the opinions or judgments of others. Another key aspect of non-attachment is the ability to let go of the need for perfection. The Stoics remind us that perfection is an illusion and that striving for it only leads to frustration and dissatisfaction. When we are attached to the idea of perfection, whether in ourselves, in others or in our circumstances, we set ourselves up for disappointment when reality inevitably falls short. By letting go of this attachment, we free ourselves to appreciate the beauty and value in imperfection, to embrace our own flaws and limitations, and to find joy in the process of growth and learning, rather than in the pursuit of an unattainable ideal. This mindset allows us to live with greater compassion and acceptance, both towards ourselves and others, and to focus on progress rather than perfection. Non-attachment also helps us to cultivate a sense of freedom and autonomy. The Stoics teach that when we are attached to external things, we become enslaved by them, as our happiness and sense of self-worth become dependent on something outside of ourselves. By practicing non-attachment, we free ourselves from this dependency and reclaim our autonomy. This does not mean that we reject or abandon the things that bring us joy, but rather that we learn to enjoy them without being controlled by them. This freedom allows us to live more fully and authentically, making choices that are aligned with our values and desires, rather than being driven by fear or insecurity. The Stoics also remind us that non-attachment is a key component of resilience. When we are attached to specific outcomes or expectations, we become more vulnerable to disappointment and defeat when things do not go as planned. By letting go of these attachments, we cultivate a sense of flexibility and adaptability that allows us to bounce back from setbacks and to approach challenges with a sense of curiosity and openness. This resilience is not about avoiding difficulties, but about facing them with a sense of confidence and calm, knowing that we can handle whatever comes our way. This mindset allows us to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and grace, and to find strength and growth in the face of adversity. The Stoic practice of non-attachment is a powerful tool for living a life of freedom, empowerment and inner peace. By letting go of our attachments to material possessions, relationships, outcomes and the need for control and approval, we free ourselves to live more fully in the present, 
to appreciate the beauty and value in impermanence and to navigate life's challenges with resilience and grace. This practice of non-attachment allows us to cultivate a sense of inner strength and autonomy, to live in alignment with our values and principles, and to find joy and fulfillment in the things that truly matter. In a world that often encourages us to cling and hold on, the Stoics remind us that true power and freedom lie in the ability to let go, to release our attachments, and to embrace life as it is, with all its imperfections and uncertainties. As we move forward from the liberating practice of letting go of attachments, which frees us to live more fully and authentically, we now turn to another fundamental aspect of Stoic philosophy, handling criticism. Criticism is something we all face, and it can often shake our confidence and disturb our inner peace. But what if you could remain grounded and unshaken, no matter what others say about you? The Stoics believed that the key to staying centered in the face of criticism lies in how we perceive and respond to it. By mastering this skill, we can protect our inner tranquility and maintain our integrity, regardless of what others think or say. The Stoic approach to handling criticism begins with understanding that the opinions of others are beyond our control. The Stoics taught that we should focus only on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and responses, while accepting that everything else, including the judgments of others, is outside our influence. This mindset frees us from the constant worry about what others think and allows us to concentrate on living according to our values and principles. When we recognize that we cannot control how others perceive us, we can let go of the need for external validation and focus instead on our own growth and integrity. Another crucial aspect of the Stoic approach is the practice of self-reflection. When faced with criticism, the Stoics encourage us to pause and reflect before reacting. Instead of immediately defending ourselves or getting upset, we should ask whether the criticism is valid. Is there truth in what is being said? If the criticism is justified, then it provides an opportunity for growth. The Stoics believed that even harsh or unfair criticism can be valuable if it helps us to see our own flaws more clearly. By approaching criticism with humility and a willingness to learn, we can use it as a tool for self-improvement rather than allowing it to damage our self-esteem. However, the Stoics also understood that not all criticism is constructive. Sometimes criticism is rooted in the biases, misunderstandings or ill intentions of others. In such cases, it is important to maintain our sense of self and not be swayed by unfounded or malicious judgments. The Stoics teach that we should not take all criticism personally. Instead, we should evaluate its source and intention. If the criticism is baseless or stems from envy or ignorance, it is not worth our energy or attention. By maintaining this perspective, we protect ourselves from being unduly influenced by the negativity of others and stay focused on our own path. The Stoics also remind us that our response to criticism should be guided by reason rather than emotion. It is natural to feel hurt or defensive when criticized, but the Stoics encourage us to rise above these emotions and respond with calm and rationality. By separating our feelings from the situation, we can evaluate the criticism objectively and choose a response that aligns with our values. This approach allows us to remain composed and measured, even in the face of harsh or unfair criticism, and to respond in a way that reflects our true character. Another key element of the Stoic approach to handling criticism is the practice of detachment. The Stoics teach that our self-worth should not be dependent on the opinions of others. When we are overly attached to how others perceive us, we become vulnerable to their judgments and can easily be thrown off balance. By cultivating a sense of detachment, we can remain grounded and unshaken, regardless of what others say. This does not mean that we become indifferent or uncaring, but rather that we develop a strong sense of self 
that is not easily swayed by external opinions. This inner strength allows us to stay true to ourselves, even in the face of criticism, and to maintain our sense of peace and confidence. The Stoics also emphasize the importance of knowing our own values and principles. When we are clear about what we stand for, we are less likely to be affected by the judgments of others. Criticism often loses its power when we are confident in our own beliefs and actions. The Stoics teach that as long as we are acting in accordance with our values, we have nothing to fear from the opinions of others. This confidence in our own integrity allows us to remain steady and composed even when others disagree with or criticize us. By staying true to our values, we can navigate criticism with grace and dignity, knowing that our actions are aligned with our principles. In addition to maintaining our values, the Stoics also remind us that criticism can be a reflection of the critic rather than of ourselves. Often, people criticize others as a way of projecting their own insecurities, fears, or frustrations. By recognizing this, we can distance ourselves from the criticism and see it for what it truly is, a reflection of the critic's inner world rather than an accurate assessment of our own worth. This understanding allows us to remain unaffected by the criticism and to maintain our sense of inner peace. By not taking criticism personally, we free ourselves from the emotional turmoil that often accompanies it and can focus instead on what truly matters. The Stoics also teach that how we handle criticism can be an opportunity to practice virtues such as patience, humility and forgiveness. When criticized, it is easy to react with anger or defensiveness, but the Stoics encourage us to respond with patience and understanding. By doing so, we demonstrate our ability to remain calm under pressure and to rise above the situation. Humility allows us to accept valid criticism without letting it undermine our confidence, while forgiveness helps us to let go of any resentment or hurt caused by unfair or malicious criticism. By practicing these virtues, we not only protect our own peace of mind, but also set an example for others in how to handle criticism with grace and dignity. Another important aspect of the Stoic approach is the recognition that criticism is a natural part of life and that it cannot be avoided. The Stoics teach that as long as we live in a world with other people, we will inevitably encounter criticism, whether justified or not. Instead of fearing or avoiding it, the Stoics encourage us to accept criticism as a part of the human experience and to use it as an opportunity for growth and self-reflection. By accepting criticism as an inevitable part of life, we can approach it with a sense of equanimity and learn to navigate it without losing our sense of self. The Stoics also emphasize the importance of focusing on what we can control. When criticized, it is tempting to try to change the opinions of others or to defend ourselves against every accusation. However, the Stoics remind us that we cannot control what others think or say. What we can control is our own response, how we choose to react, and how we let the criticism affect us. By focusing on what we can control, we empower ourselves to remain calm and composed, regardless of the criticism we face. This focus on our own actions and attitudes allows us to stay grounded and unshaken, even in the face of harsh or unfair criticism. In addition to focusing on what we can control, the Stoics also teach the importance of perspective. When faced with criticism, it is easy to become consumed by the negative feedback and to lose sight of the bigger picture. The Stoics encourage us to take a step back and to view the criticism in the context of our overall life and goals. By doing so, we can see that most criticism, especially when it comes from others who do not truly know us or our values, is relatively insignificant in the grand scheme of things. This perspective allows us to remain calm and focused on what truly matters, rather than getting caught up in the opinions of others. 
Another key aspect of the Stoic approach to handling criticism is the practice of self-compassion. The Stoics teach that while it is important to hold ourselves to high standards, we must also be kind and forgiving towards ourselves when we fall short. When criticized, it is easy to internalize the negative feedback and to become overly critical of ourselves. However, the Stoics remind us that we are all imperfect and that making mistakes is a natural part of being human. By practicing self-compassion, we can accept the criticism without letting it undermine our self-worth. This self-compassion allows us to learn from the criticism and to continue growing without being weighed down by guilt or shame. The Stoics also remind us that criticism can be an opportunity to practice resilience. Life is full of challenges and how we respond to criticism is a reflection of our inner strength and fortitude. By facing criticism with courage and composure, we build resilience and strengthen our ability to handle adversity. This resilience is not about being unaffected by criticism, but about choosing to respond in a way that is aligned with our values and goals. By practicing resilience in the face of criticism, we develop the confidence to navigate life's challenges with grace and determination. In conclusion, the Stoic approach to handling criticism is a powerful tool for staying grounded and unshaken in the face of external judgments. By focusing on what we can control, practicing self-reflection, maintaining our values and cultivating detachment, we can protect our inner peace and integrity regardless of what others say. The Stoics teach us that criticism, whether justified or not, is a natural part of life and that how we respond to it is what truly matters. By approaching criticism with humility, patience and self-compassion, we can use it as an opportunity for growth and self-improvement while maintaining our sense of self-worth and inner strength. This Stoic wisdom allows us to navigate the complexities of life with confidence and grace, knowing that our true worth is not determined by the opinions of others, but by our own actions and character. As we've journeyed through the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, we've uncovered the profound power of silence, the courage to act without fear, the strength that comes from humility, and the freedom in letting go of attachments. We've explored the art of strategic restraint, the quiet confidence born from inner fortitude, and how to remain grounded in the face of criticism. Together, these principles create a framework for living a life of true resilience and strength, a life where you can face any challenge with calm, clarity, and unshakable resolve. Now, it's your turn to take these insights and put them into practice. I challenge you to embrace the power of silence in your own life, to act boldly without fear, and to let go of the things that no longer serve you. Reflect on how you handle criticism and consider how you can stay grounded, no matter what life throws your way. Leave a comment below sharing how you plan to apply Stoic principles to live fearlessly and with purpose. Your journey towards a resilient mindset starts now, and your insights could inspire others on the same path. If you found value in this exploration of Stoicism, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's so much more to uncover, and by subscribing, you'll be the first to know when new content is released. Let's continue this journey together, striving to live with courage, wisdom, and strength every single day.